I'm Dave, I'm the creative director of Dead by Daylight, and my job is to hold the vision of the project and make sure that everyone has awesome content to create. Both of these new characters in this chapter are really close to the entity. It gives us the chance in you know, stories in the future to really deep dive on what the entity could be and how it influences the characters within it. My name is Jesse Thind. I'm narrative director, which basically means I propose and design new characters, new storylines, new ideas to expand and develop the Dead by Daylight universe. The alchemist who becomes the blight is a perfect example of what happens when someone has knowledge but lacks the wisdom to use that knowledge. The main inspiration was Jekyll and Hyde. So we wanted a character that would be able to harness a little bit the power of the entity to become way more powerful. In the entity's realm, the alchemist finds a flower that's more potent than the poppy. And true to his nature, he begins to experiment with it. He begins to investigate it. He really wants to understand the power he can derive from it. And also true to his nature, he becomes an addict of it. And this is really when the entity's dark torment begins. My name is Philip Ivanovic. I'm the art director for the new killer, The Blight. It's a character we've been working with for the last years or so. And we first showed him as an alchemist in the Hollow Blight. And for this chapter, we wanted to show his true form as a Blight, a creature that is very gruesome and fierce. For the look of the Blight, we wanted to put the emphasis on the orange color, which is the serum that he's injecting himself. We really wanted to show how the serum took over the, his body. The weapon of the Blight is very unique. It's almost an extension of his body. Since the weapon is a cane and a DI, it's very simple. We really wanted to put a lot of details in it. We kind of created this juxtaposition of the beautiful side of the cane and the gruesome side of the killer. When the Blight shoots himself with the serum, he becomes a beast. He can go really fast, he bumps up the walls to gain even more speed. It's really interesting of a power to master. Felix is a highly respected architect who not only brings knowledge of design and architecture to the realm, but he also brings a deep understanding of the entity. Felix is a very interesting character as he is the one that is really, really close to the entity. When Felix was a teen, he and his friends lost their parents to the entity and they spent most of their teenage lives trying to find them again. And now within this dark dimension, Felix doesn't realize it, but he's closer than he's ever been to finding his missing father. For the survivor, Felix, we wanted a character that is very classy. Being an architect, he's very organized, very confident. He knows what he's doing, so he knows what his goal, and he's going to do whatever it takes to achieve them. So of course, Felix comes with unique perks. They're thematized around his personality, around the fact that he's an architect, that he's a visionary, and that he uses his tools to the best of his knowledge to construct new things and to help the team. In the first Alo Blight event, we created this character and the first day we were like, you know what would be awesome is that we have this character become an actual killer that you can play. So right at the inception, it was clear that we were going to reuse this character as a playable character. The lore is not finished. We've seen in the Blight events little bits of his madness and in his bio, now that the character is released, we understand more about his past and what motivates the character. He is one of the only character that was actually out of trials in limbo and could visit the void and other zones of the entity that other characters can't go. So obviously we'll explore some stories of him in these areas as well, which will be very interesting for the fans. Descend Beyond is probably one of our coolest, most challenging and intriguing chapters to date. Since we've been working on the Blight for a while, we had time to put a lot of effort on the story. And what's interesting, it's starting to tie up some connection with the entity and other part of the game. All the team is very excited for all of this new content and we can't wait to see what the players are gonna do with it.